that makes up for it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's very funny. And that's um, how you start the show. Yeah, mate. man. Yeah, you got yeah, SB, yeah, man. Yeah, I respect that. that SB, yeah. man. Was it it's stainless sh- stainless sh- bangles? Per- <laughs> 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 New producer, yeah. Street street bands. Wicked, straight wicked, bands. straight bands. Straight straight band. Welcome back to Armchair Gaffer. You heard myself, Warp, Scorch, Jess, and SB. B. If you haven't done so, please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. This is the Continental Corner, where we take a little flight around Europe and see what's going on in all of Europe's top leagues. A budget flight. Yeah. Ryanair. Obviously, Ryanair, EasyJet. Um, no, nah, I was going to say Lufthansa, but not Lufthansa. Um, Atletico Madrid in La Liga. A little bit of drama in La Liga. It's been going swimmingly for Atletico. They lost 2-0 against Levante as their grip... On the lead at the top of La Liga, loosened after a surprise home a home defeat as well by Levante. Um, their second meeting against the Valencian side in a week was decided by Jose Luis Morales' 30th minute deflected strike and Jorge De Frutos' stoppage time effort. Uh, Atletico created 28 efforts on goal, uh, but goalkeeper Danny Cardenas uh, was not having it at all. Um, Real Madrid later closed the gap to three points with a win at Valladolid. Um, bit of a slip up there, Scott, for your, for your guys. Well, before we get there, the stats. The stats. So as, as you know, the stats. Uh, Levante uh, beat Atletico 2-0. Levante beat Atletico 2 0 and managed one shot on target. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest how? things that I've how, ever. Uh, how does that heard. work out? Oh, because it's the year 2021. Anything's possible. That's true. Anything's possible. Um, I think how much possession did Atletico have? They had about like 80% possession or something like that. Something crazy. Oh, that was the that's a, a game oh, we're yeah. going to talk about after. They had loads of possession anyway. Lo- loads of shots but just was, it wasn't their day it wasn't to be yeah uh, you know it's as well like every, if you know about La Liga you know like Levante don't really care like <laughs> nah. they don't really care if you're trying to win the league no they've but still I, got dead they're, they're gonna be them and I'm and sure grab a couple of wins I could be wrong but mm-hmm. I, I'm, I feel like I'm sure it's Levante that have that mad slogan like their slogan is when you come when you come to Levante uh-huh. it's you either lose or suffer. Wow. That's their slogan. You either lose know. or suffer. Lose or suffer. I love that. Is that Burnley? Oh, is that Levante you said? <laughs> it's <laughs> Burnley. S- Levante. Yeah. Okay. S- similar. It's mad that I think every league has their, their Burnley. Yeah, people yes. think that, that, that there's only Burnley in... Yeah, unattra- in they're they're unattractive size. There's yes. a Spanish Burnley, you know, mm-hmm. and yeah. they're cold. There's a couple of them kind yeah. of teams. Because this is a Burnley. Cadiz is a Burnley. Super, super, super Um, Burnley. um, (laughs) Yeah, and if we are talking about Cadiz, they drew one all today with Barcelona. Shock. Lionel Messi scored on his uh, club record 506th La Liga appearance, uh, but Barcelona could only bounce back from their Champions League defeat by PSG with a draw against Cadiz. Um, Cadiz beat Barcelona 2 1 earlier in the season. Um, and they got a last minute draw. Um, Barcelona now sit eight points behind Atleti, having played a game more. It's not not great. Season. No, they so seem to be turning things around. But this last week has been a reminder. Been a damaging. For them. Um, <laughs> quickly, um, like they and Madrid could mount a challenge for the title. When the thing is, I'm torn here because I want Atleti to win La Liga, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I feel a bit sorry for Thomas Partey. If they were to win La Liga. <laughs> oh, we have mentioned this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just imagine how he must feel leaving not so sunny Madrid, but still Madrid. Yeah, it's sunny when it's in the spring. Exactly. To come and, oh, and concede Daniel headers. James, oh, Daniel, Daniel James, finally. Dan, Dan James. It's so it's this is the Continental Corner, but we still do watch English football occasionally. And Daniel James from the uh, British. Wait, Dan Britain. James isn't running fast. No. Uh, well, he did in the first half. I saw Fuck. a bit of pace. Oi, <laughs> credit to Ole. Yeah, um, yeah, so as it stands, Atletico Madrid are on 23 games played, 55 points. Real Madrid, uh, who beat Vadalid and Casemiro scored against Scorch. Big player. Scored big goals, man. <sighs> Clutch. I've been trying to tell, man, like Casemiro, that's his thing. Like, his and he missed two chances as well before that. You're chatting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He should have he he had a hat. And if people don't know, the, the joke of it is, yeah, you know, every now and then, like, Casemiro scores. 
a cold goal. Sometimes it's from range. Sometimes he's just bully somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're usually these goals, yeah? Mm-hmm. He used to be a striker. You're joking. And that's why he's Clean, he used to be so, a striker. So astute. So, oh my days, that's an assist for that's Bruno. A Bruno assist. <laughs> Bruno. Bruno Fantasy assist. football. Hey, right, check out the Bruno assist. But yeah, um, Casemiro, back in Brazil, in the motherland, mm-hmm. there was like football trials or whatever for his team and that. Yeah. And they had like too many strikers. Yeah. So he said, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> and look, made he plays out. for Real Madrid. All right, there's a lesson here. Be a team player, man. Do you want to know the joke though, yeah? Player. Remember, yeah? Um... So he, Madrid signed him. He went on loan to, I don't know if you don't remember his season Porto, at Porto. Yeah, Porto, Porto. Yeah. When he was at Porto, he was like, whatever. But he was doing mad things every now and then. Like licking it from insanely far. Yes, that's when you kind of realise, yeah, okay. This, that's why Real Madrid bought him. Came in. Yeah, every now and again. And then he just got, everyone got injured and he got bust. No, it's good, good to see. But yeah, uh, Real, I guess they have Atalanta this week in the Champions League. Tough game. No, haven't it? Tough. Tough. Just, Joker, Joker. Just, just thinks it's a, a walk in the park. No Papi. Yeah, yeah no Papi Gomez, no party. Hold yeah. on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Walk in the park for who? Madrid. Oh, you, you, oh. <laughs> yeah. you're misinformed. Hmm? You're misinformed. If anyone knew about Atalanta, it's, it's, it's Jess and he's writing them off, but you, you don't believe so, Scotch. I, I think that's a pretty even. So, what are you trying to say? Sevilla is going to win there? Mm, no, they're done as well because it's hot. <laughs> They can't fit Papu into the team. It's not the same. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So speaking of shocks, uh, shock defeat for Atletico and uh, traveling over to Bundesliga, Eintracht Frankfurt, who uh, I don't really talk about much, and they had a good little Europa League run two seasons ago. That's but since that. then, yeah, it's all at Haller, yeah, Jovic, mm-hmm. but that's all like behind us now. But yeah, they won yesterday. Probably their biggest highlight since making the semi-finals of the Europa League. They won yesterday against Bayern Munich two one. Uh, Deserved. Bayern Munich missed the chance to go eight points clear at the top of uh, Bundesliga as they lost two one. Uh, goals from Kameda and Yunus gave the hosts a two goal lead at the break. And us look, we watch a fair bit of European football. Scott, you said you're getting kind of bored of Bayern going behind and turning it around. Getting bored. Yesterday it wasn't the case. Like, it's, I said it to you, like, like, Bayern last season were wild. Uh-huh. It's not the same this season. If you, like, if you're saying to me that you're seeing the same Bayern Munich this season as last season, you're just one of them football brothers. You just mm. bred whatever's winning. Mm. They keep going down in games. I know they was doing yeah. it last season, but it's getting kind of silly now. Very it's looking like when they're winning games, sometimes it's fluky. I know it's not. I know they're. I know they're a great team, uh-huh. capable of greatness. Yeah. But for whatever reason, it might be arrogance. I don't know what it is. It might just be just it's Corona this year. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's no Thiago. Hmm. Please tell me about what Big Dog done though. Please, SB. Oh. oh. So if you don't know who Big Dog is, we're talking about Leroy Sane. And if you want to see the. If you want to see Chop Suey, <laughs> if you want to see Chop Suey, not even Chop Suey, because that just sounds like one chop. He done about four or five chops to about four defenders. It's choppy. Ch- go and see that goal. I think Lewandowski scored the goal, but just watch the build-up play by Leroy. It is Top notch. No, it's, good. it's good to see him showing that again. I was bit happy. Yeah. Mm. I was happy. I was it's happy good. He's, he's had a tough still has it. year or so. Um, while, yeah, Flick led Bayern to victory in the FIFA Club World Cup, his side have underwhelmed since returning to domestic duties. And yeah, they repeated their lack start. That contributed to their three-all draw against uh, struggling Arminia. Um, so I'd call, I want to call it tough times for Bayern Munich. But it's hey, not. don't you think it's just mad that Lewandowski just doesn't really care? About, about anything. Anything really. He's just going to score 30 goals <coughs> a season. And, and that's that. And that's you, know, you know he's on, I think, I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. I think he's got 28 goals this season. Just all, all competitions, yeah. I think that seems about right because he's got about 20 that's something ridiculous. in the Bundesliga. He's got like 23 already. goals in the Bundesliga. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he's played, scored more than he's played. Or what are we doing? Yeah, Champions that? League is about to kick on as well, so he's gonna get another five. five I think, yeah. no, wait, I might be going <laughs> mad. Five, I think maybe? he's got 23 in the Bundesliga. Oh, no, 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 has he got t- he's got 23 or 24? I think it's maybe in his 24th, maybe. And it's more goals in games, isn't it? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he's, 
I don't know what That's to crazy. do. And I don't that, know what to do. Yeah, you don't. You just what to say? You about run out it. of superlatives. I'm going to say, oh, Lewandowski scored this week. That's oh, not cool. The, the sun came up somewhere down. Yeah, we get excited when players. Go, he got 20 goals though last season. What? Whoa, 20 goals. Yeah. This guy's okay. looking at 30s every. He so, wraps that up by Christmas. Yeah, that's his Christmas present. It's actually a joke. <laughs> Wait, I, it's do you know how bad it is? I don't even know if he gets his full wages prior to like. 20 or something called. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, uh-huh. His contract says once you get your 20 plus it's goals, triggered. then, then you start getting paid. Then you get the full package. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. SP, you going to say He signed that like a, like, what? Yeah. Nah, don't worry. I was, was going to say something, but it was completely left. It was completely okay. left. Yes. Yeah. To do yeah. with Dortmund. Oh, yeah. Well, We're speaking going. of Dortmund, We're going. they beat uh, perennial whipping boys, Schalke, uh, in the derby. Lang tight, cut back. Nil, yeah, Kabak did well to. Uh, well, he <laughs> left that. this sinking ship That's and has gone to uh, 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 t- turbulent waters, choppy waters. We call jo- it. During the Titanic, right, but <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not good uh, times for Kabak. Uh, Jaden Sancho and Harlem both scored as Borussia Dortmund claimed an emphatic derby win uh, at Bundesliga strugglers Schalke. Uh, the result marks a return to form for Dortmund, who had just won one of their previous six matches in the uh, German top flight. Uh, England winger Sancho opened the scoring and Haaland doubled wait, the visited wait, wait. lead before half time. Have you seen have you Haaland's seen? goal? Yeah, not those goal. Have you seen Sancho's... Sancho's new accent? Uh, just about to, That's what I wanted to talk was, about. Yeah, he keeps doing this European... Do we he should be on this continental, I think he should do, be. <laughs> do we think he is playing up and doing like... A, creating a meme or... I don't know a new subplot to his career, or do we actually think that he's just adapted? A I think he, I'll be honest. I think accent. he's just. I think he's just adapting because you know what it is. He's it's, got it's, to be battery. It's no. I swear, <laughs> Dan. It's slang. Like uh, like me, I've been away or whatever. Yeah, mm. and like I've got like Albanian friends and uh-huh. Somalian friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next thing I know, I'm saying I'm telling my Albanian brethren to. to, to Bless you, bless you. I'm I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say what the Somalian slang is and why we use it because there's people still using it. But we're saying, yo, the bam 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 is mm-hmm. yo, pass me the bam 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 or put away whatever yeah, you get yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Voila, voila. but what yeah. I'm saying is, is you like you like you're not trying to be, but you just why is the keeper saw these lines? You just pick these things up. So I I think to myself, and most importantly. It's happening because he's happy. He looks yeah. Jaden Sancho. Like after that game, I was like, "Ooh, you might go for 120 this year." Okay, <laughs> because okay, it's yeah. all you look happy. You look like your agents mm-hmm. maybe had the phone call and you got know the drop, I, I, got the drop. There is something also a phenomenon a called mirroring as well, where you mirror what people say, and it's about making yourself feel comfortable and then feel comfortable. So Dr. I think this is Dr. something Dr. that is Dan. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys always, I get loads of DMs. Why is Dan on the show? It's just random, yeah. Because um, I, sh- I should be on, what is it? One of those weird programs. Good morning. Dr. Christian, Old where BC. he turns up and um, diagnoses people. <laughs> yeah. And, and gets paid. Yeah, 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 I should be doing that, but I missed out on that role. Um, but yeah, the 20-year-old Jaden Sancho is the 20. youngest ever player to reach 35 Bundesliga goals. And some people said he was finished. <laughs> Have a word of yourself. Uh, Leipzig... Beat her Hold on, sorry, Berlin. sorry, sorry. I just want to just say, like this fucking Mbappe Haaland stuff, man. Oh, it's that's heating up. Yeah, Fuck. that's heating up. That's, like, that's like you said it early though, and now yeah. we're getting a conversation of it. But yeah, it, probably it about the, five, four months later, people are latching onto this. But it, for me, like I don't know what man are watching. Like I don't know what man are watching. Like Haaland is going insane. He's got like. 43 goals in 41 games or for some mad shit. Mm-hmm. I know I'm throwing stats. Fuck the stats. Go watch him. Yeah. This guy, do you know what he does? He's just on the pitch and then he pushes some guy that's about 10 years older than him in the face yeah, yeah, yeah. and then whacks it past your goalkeeper. Someone With, who could be his father or like his yeah. older brother. And uncle. you know what yeah, I like? The disrespect. I like that Haaland, he's a, he's a number nine. He's an old school number nine. I don't see him like doing these like Griezmann finishes. 
but it just somehow oh like you got it past the he works it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's bringing it back yeah, yeah he yeah, just yeah, sometimes yeah. yeah he just overwhelms the goalkeeper with insane power there, is yeah. that, that, that famous goal that he scored last year against PSG was it where the sound of it hitting the net oh yeah yeah and he's done a silly like bro wow. the fuck but he's I tell you what I, it. I tell you what I like though I like that the game against Barca, yeah, mm-hmm. that was Mbappe's game. I know you've won the World Cup. I know you've been to the you've done uh, big uh, things Champions League kid. final. Yeah, yeah. But you see that game there, that was the one. That was the I moment. That was a, and I guess, yeah, it's continental, so we're going to speak about it. Barcelona losing 4-1 <laughs> to PSG. It's an entertaining game, though. Good, Good game. game. I, um, I think that's the, for me, quality. that's the best game I've seen this season. Oh, hands down. Like, it was so mad. I was, shout out to Carlos. Um, we was in a group, like, like I, I, I was feeling it, but I never said it. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I don't, like, maybe chill out. And then I was like, oh, this no, is I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> then I'm, then I'm, another man, man are hitting up, like, hey, I'm enjoying it. Then I was like, then I was waiting, and then the, the Carlos has said it. He's like, this He confirmed. Be. I was like, bro, I was feeling like that, but I didn't want to say it. Like, didn't go, <laughs> he didn't want to go too soon. But no, key. really, really good game. But that is definitely, I think... One of those moments where Mbappe, because there had been doubt, there's the Haaland battle that people have now created. And yeah, his Champions League record hasn't been the greatest in the last calendar year. But yeah. now he said, no, I'm still the guy. Do, 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 you know what, do you know what it is? It's that, it's that he, like there's, like what Haaland's doing, you can't ignore. Mm-hmm. Like there's no ignoring what Haaland's doing right now. The guy's scoring every game and they're generally good goals. Yeah. That involve movement and finishing. So there's that. But then Mbappe gave us a performance to say, oh, wait a minute. And that's what that's what we needed. Like your Mbappe fans now have got yeah. enough to where they can say, yeah, cool. he's the best, he's gonna be the best, whatever, yeah, bubble. That's my you get me? And that's what that's all see me, I was questioning Wagwan, and that's all I was asking for. Like, you don't have to do this every week. No, just show us. No. Just show that, no, me. No, no, that was that definitely uh, Champions enough. League um, performance. And yeah, just speaking of Champions League, yeah, Liverpool turned over Leipzig. Couple of gifts from Leipzig in that game. Um, it's big, bro, little bro. It's <laughs> it's one of those hey, get a bit of a brushing hey. aside. Um, yeah, Upa Meccano got his his move. I guess a few days before. Didn't cover himself in much glory uh, I, in that game. But Scorcher yeah. has been saying this. Um, but they bounced Suspect. back today against uh, Hertha Berlin. Uh, they swept them aside. They were getting relegated. Yeah, 3-0 <laughs> away win. Um, and they cut oh. Bayern Munich's lead uh, down to just two points. Um, so a decent little uh, recovery uh, from Leipzig there. So Bitsa, uh gave them the first half lead. And Can he just come to And them? Orban uh, sealed it's the victory. It's taking so long for him to move. Just come to Tottenham. Yeah. We just, need to. Just seeing the, seeing the season now. No, we're not in the Champions League. <laughs> Um, Serie A now AC Ooh. Milan and Inter Milan it was the Milan derby like the the, uh, the, the days of old uh, an actual Milan derby that mattered uh, AC oh, Milan lost got the AC three Milan caller. oh god I don't know he's probably in he's probably in, in a way. dark room yeah, yeah, curtains closed lights off um, Laturo Martinez two goals helped Inter Milan uh, to an impressive derby win against AC he needed it that you know. up. it's a four point Gap now at the top of Serie A. He did. La Toro, he needed that. Last time I checked, AC were like two points clear, so it swung round. The swing. Very quickly. Six pointer. The sw- yeah, uh, to- top of the table, six pointer. So yeah, uh, La Toro, Martinez scored two. Lukaku uh, also. Why, why are the, why scored are another goal. You see, when you're at the top, yeah, and mm-hmm. you play like man near you, yeah, that's not a six pointer. So why, when you're in, in relegation the bottom, spot, yeah. why is it a six pointer? <laughs> We're here yeah. to change the narrative. True. Yeah, that was a top of the table six point. Six point. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're now four points clear at the top of Serie A. Um, Champion Juventus are eleven points behind Inter, Lead. and they also have two games in hand. Um, but they play Crotone uh, tomorrow. Should be three points for them, but still. Oh, should be fucking hell! <laughs> Can't be serious. Who's that? Crotone. Oh, Crotone. That go should on? should be yeah. <sighs> No, they're, they're starting to turn it around. Uh, Hold on a second. They struggled in the Champions League. That header is actually fucking cold from yeah, Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes yeah. I, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna say. It. I know this ain't the section. Yeah. I know we're not supposed to be talking about domestic stuff here. Yeah. 
And when I say, I'm talking about four. Um, <laughs> fucking, see Bruno Fernandez. Everybody questions this guy, and I just think mm-hmm. you're all pagans. Like me personally, I don't like his playing style. He's bare flippant with the ball. He's the exact opposite of what Saka is. Saka just doesn't do anything wrong. Yes, but sometimes he doesn't risk it. Bruno does the exact opposite. He risks it and risks it and risks Kids it and risks like it constantly. But he makes things happen. And I'm like, you you can't argue with, you can't argue with man's output. But though, fucking mm-hmm. hell, man. Sometimes he pisses me off the way he just fucking. But when you see cold stuff like that, he's like, you're supposed to be the creative hub of the team. You've gone near post, one ahead and flicked it on towards the back post for Maguire to try and get a tap in. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. to respect that. You have that. to, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're trying to do everything you can to win. Big, big, big up Bruno every time. Uh, in League on Lille uh, won against Lorient. They are now top of uh, Ligue 1. Three points clear of Lille yo, yo, yo. in second place. Uh, as we record, PSG are playing Monaco. They're losing, right? Are they? And PSG are losing. Was it 1-0? They're losing 1-0. I keep saying every week. Sofiane Diop has oh. scored. Um, I'm just checking the lineup. There is no Danilo Pereira. Thank God, okay. Which is a, a boost. <laughs> <laughs> See, just when you're starting to question uh. Poch... Oh you just double check. Pen? Is that Joe Willock giving away a pen? Oh my lord! It wouldn't be a United yeah, game without, without, a, without a pen. Good lad. Oh, who, who, who drew the foul? Was Marcus? Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, back Gosh. to league and I keep saying like this league. You want to know who's gonna win it? Flip a coin. It's so 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 flip a, tight. Flip man. a four-sided coin. Oh, that's. I'm I'm respecting. Is that uh, a pen? Monaco. Shouldn't be. Sorry, Rash has gone down in the box. That should. Oh, so oh my goodness. That's soft though. That is the not a pen. He, goes down. he kind of hasn't down. clipped his leg. That is not a pen. But Willock isn't wilding out, which is interesting. Willock, why have you not spoken, my bro? This is crazy. That's not a pen. He was fucked in the first game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. That's not like, that's actually well, just not a pen. You've, but why has he not said anything? Is there no VAR? Because he's not serious about life. Yikes. Um, yeah, bear with us. We're just about to see whether or not Bruno Fernandes converts from no, the penalty No, we're waiting to see which corner he scores in. Bottom oh, left corner. no. What's Darlow? Darlow, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. Why has he done that? Darlow, I'm giving Oi. you... Uh, you <laughs> I was telling people Darlow's all oh, right. He's had a good season, man. But he's, well, he act, was. he's acting up today. He was having a good You got season. beat at your near what? post. I've and never seen I don't anyone know what's happened. dive forward. They and they're taking it again. It didn't even go to VAR. Yeah, the penalty, that, that wasn't the penny. No, it wasn't really. Was there? Is this a half-time show? Hey, I can tell you, like, this is a Man U game. Man U Newcastle. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He jumped off Oi, his line. If you can, please. What's he doing? The key Carlo on. dive forward. Oh, my God. Carlo <laughs> has done. It is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in football. And I guess that brings us to the end of Continental Corner, guys. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Um, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and please comment below. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Wait, for the final wait, third. wait. That's bare funny. Are we not doing a, a live watch along for Chelsea Atletico on Tuesday? Let's see. We might surprise. Let's see. We might Let's see what happens, guys. Uh, this is coming out on Tuesday, so Ooh. tonight, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Look, we might be a little surprised. Like, yeah. like sub- subscribe, share. Yeah, if you like, share, subscribe, and, yeah. and all see the what rest. we can do. We'll do All right, peace. Peace. peace.